Hey guys, 8 Mini QED here. In today's video, we're gonna learn what the straight lines are and how to sketch them on an XY plane. So, what are straight lines? They are the graphs of first degree algebraic functions. Then, what is the degree of an equation or a function? Degree is the highest power of x that the equation or function has. For example, y is equal to x plus 3 is first degree and we call it a linear function. y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1 is second degree and we call it a quadratic function. y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x plus 4 is third degree and we call it a cubic function. y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus x plus 4 is fourth degree and we call it a quartic function. And there are more. As you can see, as the degree of functions change, we call them differently. However, functions with higher degree will be covered in upcoming videos. Linear functions are usually represented in two different forms, general form and gradient intercept form. General form is in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. a and b are the coefficients of x and y respectively and c is called constant as it is not multiplied to any pronumeral. Gradient intercept form is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. m, which is the coefficient of x, is what we call a gradient or a slope, and it measures how steep the line is. It is positive when the line goes up from left to right. It is negative when the line goes down from left to right. And finally, b is called y-intercept, and I'll explain what it is in later part of this video. Even though we have two different forms of linear functions, you can easily convert the two forms back and forth using simple algebraic technique. Here is an example. 2x plus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0 is in the general form. But if we move the terms around and make y the subject, 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. y is equal to minus 2 on 3x plus 1 over 3. See how easy this is? Now, to sketch one of these, all you have to do is find x and y intercepts and just join them. x and y intercepts are the points when straight lines or curves intersect with the x and y axes. If you have a look at this xy plane, as you can see, all the points that are on the y-axis have their x-coordinates equal to zero. So, if you want to find the points when a line cuts the y-axis, all you need to do is substitute x is equal to zero and solve for y. In a similar sense, since all the points on the x-axis have their y-coordinates equal to zero, you need to substitute y is equal to zero and solve for x to find the x-intercepts. Let's try an example. We have a linear function 3x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. To find y-intercept, simply sub x is equal to 0. So, 3 times 0 plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. 2y is equal to negative 4. y is equal to minus 2. And to find x-intercept, 3x plus 2 times 0 plus 4 is equal to 0, 3x is equal to negative 4, x is equal to minus 4 and 3. And now if you plot these points on the xy plane and just join them, this is what you will get. Very easy, isn't it? Now here are some examples for you to try. Pause the video and try them. Hit the play button for solutions.
Hope you've got them all correct. Thanks for watching. Q E